Good morning, everyone. Start of another vlog. It has been a while since my last vlog. My eyes look really swollen and red today because yesterday I did like two makeup looks in one. So I basically did the makeup, removed the makeup, and then I did a second look and my eyes just, my skin can't really handle that. So that's why my eyes are a little bit swollen. So I don't even know if I'm gonna wear makeup today. I got up about an hour ago and, um, or about 45 minutes ago. And this little one over here, he has grown so much probably since the last time that you guys really saw him. He's like not even a puppy anymore. He's like a little, little boy now. Yeah, you're so cute. So he's just about to get his breakfast and we've kind of discovered this new routine. Well, discovered. I give him his, like I've already taken him out to go to the bathroom and stuff. And then I give him his big breakfast or his first proper meal. And then we go on a nice, really long walk. Um, so that he's nice and tired so that I can actually get some work done for the rest of the day, right? So I'm gonna feed him and meanwhile, I'm already setting up here What I like to do is I just take my coffee and stuff with me I soak it in a bit of water so it's nice and soft and it's easy for him to swallow it and digest it because he's still a little puppy Yeah, oh, oh, you want it now? No, 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 that's not how we do things. Okay, so this is what I do He's very excited today. Sits Water. All right, so he has to sit Sits. Water. Water. Fresa! So he only gets it like that. He can't just jump onto his food. He only gets it when I tell him he's allowed. All right, while he's eating that, I need to be kind of quick because as soon as he's done, he has to go outside to pee. Oh, make myself a coffee. Maybe I'll make a little picture for Instagram. Um, you can actually follow Odin on Instagram. His handle is uh, Odin Standard Poodle. I'm on my walk now in the forest. Come, come baby. He got a little bit spooked because when I got out of the car, there was this other car there parked at the entrance and they had three, I think three dogs in their car and they were the most annoying, loud, barking, just not calm dogs. I let Odin out, you know, he's putting his leash on and stuff. I mean, here he's off leash, but you know, I put his leash on and stuff and then that stupid woman let her dog out just then when I was putting his leash on. So then like these three crazy dogs jumped at us. <sighs> just, I don't understand some pet owner or some dog owners. Like they don't understand the language of dogs. Like if one person is putting their dog on a leash, you don't let out your three crazy, hyperactive, aggressive dogs at that moment. Especially not if it's a young puppy. Like, I, I haven't even had a dog that long and I already know that, you know? I mean, Odin is really a calm dog. Oh, I had to run there for a second because there's a giant horse poo there. And he has a tendency to want to eat them. You know, I don't, like, I haven't owned a dog for very long, but I already know sort of the basics of what you're supposed to do and not supposed to do. So anyway, he got really spooked for a second, but immediately I kind of like stood in front of him. Most dogs are afraid if you make yourself big. It's like kind of the same as if you're like a bear you know, you have to make yourself big and imposing. Look at this, giant horse shit everywhere on the trail. I mean, these things are like elephant sized poos. So why don't horses have to pick up their shit? Which is so much worse. Why don't they have to make like horses who go on these trails wear like poo bags? Why do I have to pick up dog poo? But all these trails, like this even annoyed me when I didn't have a dog because I used to go jogging all the time here. The entire trail would be just like horse shit everywhere. So disgusting. I just don't get it. Like I have to pick up after my dog. Why can't these fucking horse owners pick up their shit? So we've reached one of Odin's favorite spots, which is the water here. Yeah, let's go in the water. Come on, let's go in the water, look. Yeah! Oh, he just loves it. <laughs> he went, ah! Oh, you're so wet! Oh my god, he just stood up on me. Okay, hang on, I have to find something to throw, a little stick. Wee! Go get it! <laughs> yeah, you got it! <laughs> it's like he's he wants to get it, but he doesn't want to go too far in yet. He's still a little bit unsure about it. But look, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can see the webbing on his feet. Look. You see the webbing on his feet between his toes? They're actually webbed. Wee! <laughs> oh, you get it just for going in. Oh, he's so cute. So this is such a nice place that we like to go to, or I like to go to with him because he can really go in the water. He can jump around. Sits. Fota. Look, 
Look at the webbing. Look at the webbing. Oh, it's hard to show you guys. Oh, he loves it. We came here yesterday. It was like pouring rain out. Yeah, you like it, don't you, baby? <laughs> you just can't. No, no. Oh, he loves to stand up on me. Now I'm already soaked. Great. Hey, you go in the water. You want to shake? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. So much fun, actually, to be here with him. Because... You know, I mean, I can't run yet with him. He's still too young for that. It's just nice to be able to come out here, like one of my favorite places and not be totally by myself. I mean, sometimes I go with friends, sometimes I go with my husband, but you know, he's he has other hobbies. He's really into golfing. So that's his hobby. So I think it's fine, you know, when we have different hobbies. I don't have to do everything with my husband. Oh, uh, it's a really beautiful place. So we spend some time here at the river or at this little creek and uh, Odin's having, no, 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 no jumping on mommy. Odin can have a little run around and play in the water, which is, you know, poodles are water dogs, so they love the water. And then afterwards, we go on a little walk. And he got his little haircut, his little big boy haircut. Ooh, you want a stick? Ooh, go get it! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not throwing it in too far, because I just want him to get accustomed to the water and like, you know, that he has nothing to be afraid of. And especially now that I have, you know, boots, I can come in the water with him. So he like looks at me and he's like, oh, she's going in the water. That means I can go in too. Oh, he loves it. But he, he like, as soon as he sees the creek, he like wants to go down. You know, he's like, oh, let's go to the creek. Let's go to the creek. So I know he, he likes it. And we found a really nice spot, didn't we, Odin? Yeah, look, it's like a little mini waterfall. <laughs> Oh, I can feel the uh, autumn is coming. Look, some of the leaves are already changing color. Odin's very, very interested. Ooh, go get it! Oh, it's too deep for him. <laughs> go get it! Ooh, come on! <laughs> Aww. Odin, come! He will come. You see? <laughs> oh, he dropped his stick. Yeah, get the stick. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. It's just so adorable. So we have to go up here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Look how he's jumping. Go up, baby. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Wee. Oh, you heard a dog. Oh, those are those annoying dogs from before that spooked him. God. Could not. I could not handle. Oh, look, he's getting scared. He's a little bit scared of dogs that are like that. He don't need to be scared. I'm here to protect you. God, I could not. I could not manage having these annoying dogs like that. All right guys, so I am back at home and um, I actually missed a good chunk of vlogging. So my battery started actually running out near the end of walk so I actually couldn't couldn't vlog. So after the walk, I went by my um, mother-in-law's place because they have this, so like a dog carrier for the back of my car. I drive an audio audio an audi wagon like in the boot that's where i keep odin and i had a little crate for him back there um, which we got when he was still a puppy kind of as a in-between sort of solution because honestly i don't know how big he's going to be i mean i know he's going to be a big dog he's going to be up to 30 kilograms so i knew that at the end of the day i'd have to buy some kind of a system for my car but when we got him as a puppy i didn't want to invest in one yet because they're super expensive they're like 500 dollars or something like that i wasn't sure you know if he was going to like it or also if you know if it's going to be the right size for him because i can't really estimate it right now how big he's going to get i went by my mother-in-law's place because she actually has a dog carrier for her car that she's not using anymore it didn't fit in the my car so now i'm thinking of buying just a net because you can buy these sort of net systems that you can attach to the back of the car like of the rear seats so that in in case of an accident the car uh, the dog is not going to get hurled in the front if you just have your dog in the car or lying on the back seat it's super super unsafe a for the dog and, and b for you because what happens if you do have a full-on collision the dog will like fly through the whole car and through the windshield. I have a big car, so he will for sure fit. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best thing to buy now. I will have to buy something that's a bit more long-term because I don't want to have to keep spending money on things that he's going to outgrow. I need to actually do a bunch of work today. There's a video that I still need to edit. Right now I'm soaking Odin's food because he's going to get lunch now and then he'll probably nap for most of the afternoon because he's so exhausted now. Yeah, how did you like the walk, baby? Did you like the walk? Hmm? You're so cute with your little 
Your little shaved face. You're such a cute little boy. Very playful. He's so sweet. He's just the sweetest dog. I mean, he's very playful. He's still a puppy. But I can already tell he's going to be a very soft, gentle, calm, sweet dog. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't bark a lot at all. He's not aggressive at all. So he's really, really sweet. I just know he's going to be an amazing dog. I need to remove your eye boogers today. Yes, I do. Yeah, you don't like it, but it has to be done. Those eye boogers gotta go. Yeah. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, he's so affectionate, too. Don't you, baby? Hmm? Yeah. Look, he's like, give me more pets. Give me more. <laughs> oh, he knows his food is coming, so he's like already exploring. Yeah, are you looking for your food? Look how big he is already. I love his long paws. Yeah, he loves lying right on me. Don't you, baby? Yeah. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. This is what I mean about affectionate. He just, he's very affectionate. That's the big reason why I also wanted to get a poodle is because they're just known to be very affectionate dogs. Even the big ones, like the small ones are even more kind of lap dogs. Doggone it. I want my lunch. I want my lunch, mommy. Yeah, you're so cute. Look at that big nose. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. All right, so Odin's gonna have a nap now, hopefully. Good boy. Hey everyone, just checking back in with you guys. It's about 6 p.m. Um, I spent the afternoon editing the Urban Decay Naked Heat video. Um, finished editing, doing the voiceover. Um, yeah, I still have to post it now and do all the sort of social media promotion for it. I'm just looking through some cookbooks right now because later I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some things. I already wanna prepare something for tomorrow because we're having a dinner party at our house with some friends that we invited over for dinner. So I'm just getting some inspiration for what to cook. This is um, by Donna Hay. This is called Jahreszeiten, which means like seasons, I guess in English. So I'm just looking at the autumn um, thing and seeing if there's some inspiration. I really like her cookbooks visually, but I don't really use them that much anymore just because they are super meat heavy. Like a lot of her recipes are meat based, but this is all like meat, meat, meat. Our guests do eat meat, so I don't know. I'm not gonna cook meat, but maybe my husband will cook some meat or something, but I'm just looking for other things to make with it. So this is the Spiced Pumpkin Pie by Yotam Atalengi. I actually have three of his cookbooks, no, two of his cookbooks. I'm actually thinking of buying his new one, which is called Sweet. I love his recipes because they're always like different. Oh, you look so cute. Look at the, look at the sunshine. It's magic hour for Odin. He's been basically napping the whole afternoon while I was working in it. So in the evening and we've taken him out for another little walk. Well, we took him out for pee breaks, obviously, but he's actually gone on a whole second walk. You want the fish? <laughs> you want the fish? I got the fish. Odin, you have a nice hat. Ooh, you're so cute. Yeah. And he's already had his dinner. Oh, what a nice hat you have on. What a nice hat you have on, baby. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the opportunity to take out this entire wagon of recycling. Um, this is kind of the downside of getting a lot of packages because you're constantly having to take out the trash, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. I'm just checking out some of the drugstore stuff, seeing if there's anything new. I don't know, I'm not interested in anything. We don't have any cool new launches. I tried this one recently, the Bronx Colors Foundation in a lightest shade. I wasn't crazy about it, and it was $20. Not worth it. Max Factor, their mascaras are okay. None of these skin products are light enough for me so i don't even bother also the perfect match here these shades are not light enough for me either <laughs> so look at this they have all these shades like they look every shade looks the same like what the hell how can there be so many different shades and they all look the same like oh these are finally here i have a video up on these with the super stay matte inks um i reviewed these i just got home from the grocery store i think i was gone maybe i don't know 45 minutes or something and he was so excited to see me <laughs> even though my husband was home and my husband was taking a little nap so i gave him like a chew thing to chew on while i was gone yeah there's your pillow he came ran at me and he was so excited he did a little excited pee in the hallway so we had to clean up his pee he was so excited <laughs> Yeah, are you happy to have me back? 
Okay, so for the pumpkin pie, I have to first make the pumpkin pumpkin puree because you can't buy canned pumpkin flesh here. Like it just, you can't buy that here. This particular pumpkin, you can actually leave the skin on because when this cooks, it the skin gets soft and you can eat it. So that's really cool. So I'm going to steam this and then puree it, but I think this might not be enough. So I'm going to mix in with uh, some of this pumpkin as well. I have never tried this one. And I think this one you might have to take the peel off because it feels really hard and gummy. Here's Odin defending our house against that scary other dog sitting out there, AKA himself in the reflection. Yeah. That's you, baby. That's you. <laughs> he hardly ever barks, except when he thinks he has to defend. He has to defend his fortress. Who's the doggy? Yeah, you guys see the reflection? He's like seeing himself and he thinks it's another dog. <laughs> Woof. You guys, look at this freaking kitchen. This is all to make a bloody dessert. <laughs> to make a pumpkin pie. Yeah, this is what happens. We have to make everything from scratch. So this is all compost. Right now I'm making the puree. And what I actually did is I strained it in here to get all the liquid out. And then I pressed it through like a clean um, kitchen towel to really get as much of the moisture out so that it's a really like dry puree. Now, and this is the stuff that's gonna go into the pumpkin pie. Eggs, cream, um, honey, lots of spices in here. Decided to add a little bit of Quanto, which is um, an orange liqueur. Okay, so here is the pumpkin pie filling, uh, ready to be baked tomorrow. So I'm just going to pour this in here so I can store it easily, and this is going to be Hopefully a very tasty pumpkin pie. It is almost midnight and I'm going to quickly do my nails because they were just looking gross. I don't know, they've been like peeling a lot so they're, I don't know, just don't look good. And I'm gonna do this shade, just like a nude shade. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Gel Nail Color, the seven days. I, I feel like these ones actually last a good amount of time. And this is the shade 130 Rose Poudre. So tomorrow we have guests coming over in the evening at around six. So we have to do prep, we have to clean the house. At noon, um, I have a appointment at the salon to get a haircut finally, which is good because I hate my hair right now. It's at this annoying length, which I just hate. I'm pretty tired now. So I think I'm just gonna do my nails and after this, I'm gonna go to bed. Odin's actually sleeping on at my feet. He loves to sleep like on me. All right, so I decided to add on a little bit from today because um, I am just about to go to the hairdresser or to the salon. Oh my God, it has been so long since I've gotten my hair cut. It's just like this stupid length that it's just nothing. I mean, I guess it would kind of be considered a lob, but it doesn't look good at all. I think I hate it. My hair is so much shorter, honestly, like, I can't believe it. This is the shortest my hair has been in a long time. Um, it's definitely shorter than it was like the last few times that I've cut it. I love it. It looks so much cooler. I don't know, I feel like so much cooler. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to this vlog channel. I know it's been a long break and I will see you next time. Bye.